Okay, so this is Troy with Copper Top Gallery. I just wanted to show everyone how easy this is. What you need is you need cotton gloves or mittens that are out of wool. That's okay. You do not want to use latex gloves because they're actually made with petroleum. And if you touch the surface of the copper with oil, you can leave oxidization. So um, it's very, very simple. Okay, so you want to take the clock and you want to unscrew the back of it. It's very simple. Make sure the battery is out. Uh, some of the glass has been, um, the, the hot glue became brittle and during transportation it has become an issue. Um, also, some rough ham handling during transportation has called some of the hands um, to actually come off the cylinder. So, um, you take the five screws out, you lift these up, you grab the base of the clock, and you lift it out. So, for those of you that are getting Here's another thing here. You want to slowly take that piece off. It's okay. You can roll it down. You don't want to touch the surface of the clock. The other thing is, is now you can use gloves. I don't, but I recommend that if you're not used to it, to please use gloves. But you want to take this and just slowly wiggle it off the post. Slowly lift, slowly. Just be gentle, that's fine. Take both of them. This is a full thin. You take this here. Loosen that up. Loosen that up. And you can set it back on. Here's the process for assembly. Now I'm going to tighten everything on. It's tight. So if you're replacing the face completely, you want to lift it up. You want to line it up with the 12 underneath. You can see the underneath the clock. Line this black dot with the 12 right there. Then, if you are putting the hands back on the cylinder because they slid off during transportation, you want to do it easily. Line up the 12 and then slide it down. Now you want to make sure that the clock hands are on straight, so come behind me, Tyler. So the easiest way to do this is to see that this is on straight here, and you kind of eyeball it and actually go one all the way around. It's very easy. It's a five minute thing to do this. I usually stop at the nine right there. Now I put my minute hand on the top of the cylinder, 12, push it down. You'll feel it slide down, no problem. And you take the brass, you place it right on there. Boom. So you want to make sure that the hands aren't catching again. So you want to do a little trial run here. Make sure that they're all clearing, which they are. Sometimes they're not, it's okay. You wanna take your time during this process because, and then we're gonna go all the way around to the nine. Oh. Okay, so we know that that's done. Now, <clears throat> other damage in transportation this is glue here. It's become dry and brittle and the vibration, um, they've actually, it's actually become brittle. 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna push these tabs back down over the glass because the glass has become pushed in, concaved. I've shipped silicone, it's clear. You just wanna unscrew the cap there. This is an easy fix. Clip the, clip the little nip off right there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna seal this glass casing in. We're gonna do this. We're gonna fill it in, it's just like caulking. Go over. Okay, there's one. You want to repeat the process. Fill it. I do apologize for the inconvenience to my customers my career that I am now seeking new shipping. They've been quite rough with our delicate fine art. So I'm doing my best to please all our customers. Customer retention and customer satisfaction is very important to me. Is silicone now throw it in there? You probably won't use the whole tube, but if you want, you can you can go excessive on it, just however you'd like. But this is all that's required. Do it nice and easy. Okay, now remember, the more you put on, the longer it takes to dry. This is going to take about four hours to sincerely dry. In the meantime, you want to keep the copper surface. You want to keep it out of the way. If you have animals, please, they may walk across it. Their little paw prints will be on the surface. You could gently lay a towel over it and keep everyone away from it. Now, if you want... If, if you want, you can do some spot here and just kind of, there's no reason to, but you can kind of hit it up a little bit just, just to make sure if that's what you'd like. When you're done, you can either dispose of it or just recap it. It is reusable. So when it's dry, when it's completely dry, there's a couple things to remember. Now, I'm going to let this dry, but I'm going to demonstrate. Right here, you see a little white mark that I placed on every back of every clock. Okay? When you set this back in, you need a grip right there, and you want to line that white dot there with the hanger. And just set it in there evenly. Clamp the tabs back over and then screw them back down. Thank you very much. I do apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused to any of our customers. And if you need any further assistance or some personal guidance, please feel free to give me a call on my cell phone at 505-304-3622. I will be more than happy to take my time out and make sure that you have assistance from me and why you do this. Thank you very much and I hope that you have a great day and please remember to recommend and refer your friends to Troy Willingham at Copper Top Gallery here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Thank you and have a great day.